No. <laughs> oh, excuse me, everybody. Coming down with a cold. I just watched this video. This shit is going on all over America. Don't be surprised that these one people actually just said something about it. This happened in California not too long ago. So, um, you have to understand, some people are not ready to be living with other people. And the bottom line is this, you can't make everybody be your friends. You can't make nobody accept you. Some people don't want him in that neighborhood. Fine. They cannot stop this. Why don't they give him a better house and a better neighborhood where he can be living? Why don't they just offer him up a better spot? If you don't want nobody to live in your neighborhood and you're mad because they can afford to have a brand new house built, that's bad. Times have gotten so bad, people uh, thinking that this other person got more than me or whatever the hell the animosity is. I don't know. I don't live there. But it's pitiful. It's pitiful that in this day and age, you'd expect to see that from some old crazy white man. That's a woman. And these are probably her rest of her family members not feeling that black people deserve the opportunity to live in a neighborhood such as the prestigious neighborhood they were living in. That wasn't no slouchy ass house. And in California, that house looked like it probably cost at least a bleem. If you know what a bleem is, that's a million dollars. But the camera plays tricks sometimes. Angles are funny. It could only be worth seven, eight hundred thousand in California. Whatever the case is, just because somebody can afford to live in your neighborhood, don't hate. Just say, okay, fine. I don't want him down and I don't want I won't be at his house for the barbecue. You know, the fact that somebody can live in your neighborhood and afford to build a house in your neighborhood, you can only benefit from. How ignorant and how, how stupid have people gotten? I don't want these niggers to live in my neighborhood. The same shit happened to me and my wife, and there's proof. We rented a house from somebody. Three days after we was in there, get those niggers out of my house. Why? Why? Why if these people who can afford to pay your rent have to go? Huh? What's the whole purpose of being in a society if people will not accept you for yourself? What did these black people owe these white people for living in that neighborhood? Not a goddamn thing. That just brought their fucking property value up for somebody building a brand new house in their community. But they would rather have things be the way they are than to see somebody black pull up in a brand new car down the street while they're suffering. A lot of people don't want to see other people have things during time of suffering. Therefore, these things will happen. Here in California, everybody's blaming shit on Mexican people. Why? Because you see Mexican people having things when nobody else has nothing. Understand perception, people. Just because someone has something you don't have, that does not make them better than you. And even if someone is better than you, I don't see you running to these corporate CEOs trying to kick their ass. I don't see you uh, scratching hateful things on uh, the big old Hummer that pulls up and drives uh, right past you while you're walking. But to see someone of an opposite color have something while you're struggling to maintain the one you have is degrading and belittling to you. And people feel that way when they believe someone who is beneath them does not have the right to have as much as they do. Whose rights are they anyway? Are they your rights to give around? And I was having a conversation with somebody today. And the guy said, aren't you glad that we have a black president? I'm like, no. I'd be glad when we get a Native American president of the United States of America. What? What do you mean? The Indian can't be president of America. They're not Americans. They're Indians. Where's the logic at in that statement? Is that a made-up statement for me to make up a story? Or have I actually had conversations like that? There are people out there questioning the validity of our videos. And I began to question some videos too. But regardless of what a person says, to get a point across, can you reach the point? I can go back through my brain and find a million different reasons for me to dislike a group of people. And I can also go back through my brain and find a few reasons for these people to dislike me. But instead, I go through my brain to find out what I can say to deal with these people when they try to come at me in the wrong manner. And you know what I say? Huh. Okay. Okay. You ignore ignorance, and then eventually it'll go away. 
you feed into it, it grows, festers, and it stinks, and it reeks, and it gets all over your clothes, and it gets all into your mind. Well, at least that's what I can see that happened in Arlington. Somebody was jealous or pissed off or just didn't want to see blacks have the same as they do. Why? That's the question. Why did these people do this to these people? Don't never ask the question of... What's the other thing? Don't never ask the question of the violence. Ask the question of why the violence was done. Why do these people think this way? And if they can give a logical explanation, then that needs to be investigated. But there is no logical explanation. So the question is, why would you think the matter in the manner in which to where you would do something is to another human being? What would have happened if someone would have been in the neighborhood before you got there and decided to, to put no power on, on their driveway? And, you know, do some stuff that you would feel to be racist. Why is it always when somebody white does something, it is blam in everybody's face? Things like this happen every day. And if you don't believe me, all you got to do is get on the Internet and type up any town or any city and you look through the newspapers and you read newspapers from other towns and other cities and you check the crime yourself because somebody can tell you something that's going on in America and you can believe it because you see this video or I can tell you that this happens every day between white people and black people and Mexicans and whites and Mexicans and blacks every day in America and no one sees it don't let this be a surprise to you that you see this now in 2009. What kind of jokes are they playing with the people's mindset? I see this type of shit every day. And one more thing. Since I'm all over the situation. Think about these kids and these violence and these shootings in schools. There was guns in the inner city long time before Columbine. But once you see, once it's horrific, this is whew, nothing been happening for a while. This right here needs to happen. Now they're showing more and more whites angry at blacks. But for years, they've talked about black on black crime and blacks doing this to whites. But now, all of a sudden, there's a black president. You're going to see more and more white on black crime because it's a visual thing. Don't ingest what you're being fed. Take the story at face value. Wish better for the people. Wish those who perpetrate acts against people like this get the same justice that other people get when doing the same things. And let's move on. Do not let this fester in the back of your consciousness. Because that's what people want you to think. This video right here should have hella hits by the end of the week. To show what white people are doing to black people. It's not what they're doing to us now that's actually causing the damage. It's what they did to us then that has changed the face of the world. We built this planet. And there's history books that will prove it. Slaves from all over the world built this planet most of them came from Africa and most of them look just like you and me and that lady over there that got beat up for enjoying the American dream building a house in America in a town, in a city, in a community that she wants to love did you anybody understand this video did I offend anybody? Should this video be flagged, tagged, bagged, and dragged? I don't know. It's time to let shit like this go. Justice will be served. You have been tubed.